Hi guys! So this week I am going to have you read The Very Hungry Caterpillar. So I wanted to do some caterpillar crafts. And in the story you'll find something very cool at the end and the caterpillar ends up turning into something. So we want to do a craft that's so kind of like that. So you're going to need some, they're called pom-poms. They look kind of like cotton balls, um, which if you don't have any, you can use cotton balls. That would be just fine. Um, so you'll need at least three or four of these pom-pom slash cotton balls. You'll need a toilet paper roll. And if you have a coffee filter, you can use that and paint it pretty colors, or you can just use tissue paper. We're gonna use tissue paper because we don't have coffee filters. And then some glue and googly eyes. So it is going to be, this is what we're gonna try to make. So we're gonna use our pom-pom cotton balls first. And we're going to use our liquid glue. And we're going to try to glue them together. That way we can let it dry so we can do other stuff with it. So our cotton ball pom-poms are kind of big. So we'll just have to see what it does if this glue... This glue doesn't want to come out. <laughs> there we go. It's trying. I'm going to kind of hold it together for a second. You could also use um, like a hot glue gun. That probably would make it stick to. There we go. And you don't have to make it in a straight line. You can do whatever you want with it. Caterpillars are wiggly and like to move around, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, you might have to count to 10 or 15 to make sure it holds. Unless you're using the hot glue, then you probably don't have to hold it as long. Okay, so mine's good to go. I'm going to leave that sit for a minute. Yeah. Um, it has googly googly eyes on it so I'm gonna add those so I can just kind of set this aside to dry let me see if I can find really quickly okay so I'm gonna take some googly eyes and stick them on okay those are two different sizes <laughs> I'm gonna make mine a little bit bigger because my head's a little bit bigger sure I think I grabbed two different sized eyes. <laughs> That's okay. It'll look cute. It's fine. One of my eyes is <laughs> bigger than the other. <laughs> okay. I'm kind of, I'm just going to leave this over here to dry. I don't want to touch it for a couple minutes. So if you are using coffee filters, now would be a good time to paint it or color it to make it um, colorful for your wings. I am using tissue paper. So my wings are going to be yellow. My sisters are going to be pink. Um, we're going to want it to be, if you're using tissue paper, I think a circle kind of like a coffee filter would be 
So you'll want to draw a circle so you can cut it out or you can ask mom and dad for help. I don't know if this, I might have to use a pencil. You have to be kind of careful drawing on tissue paper. You don't want to rip it. Yeah. So I'm making a big circle. I don't know if you can see it on the yellow. You can kind of see it. And then you're going to carefully cut it out. Mom or dad might want to help you with this because tissue paper just rips so easy. I've got a circle. Um, it might be easier if you cut like a big chunk off. Yeah. Wow. Well, Okay, so I am folding it like you would to make a paper fan. So you fold it one way and then fold it the other. So it'll be kind of crinkly. And then I think they took Yeah. So I think they kind of took the middle and squished it down so it looked like this. If you go to do this and you and you did it with tissue paper and you think it is too small, you can cut out a bigger circle. So kind of looks like a bow. It does look like a bow. So you're going to want to maybe put some glue on it to kind of hold that together. opened might help. So I'm going to put a dot, maybe. This glue just really doesn't like me. I'm going to put some glue in the center so that way when I squish it, it might just hold. So it's like that. And you got to hold it for and then you can take your caterpillar that you made, hopefully it is dry, and you're going to stick it, I think, yep, under. So you're going to put it, glue it under, so it kind of looks like that. So you're gonna take this, whoops, you're gonna take this, and the caterpillar is gonna go on top of it, and that's where it's gonna get glued. So you wanna put it. Another dot like in the middle and then kind of push it down. Wait. Having difficulty. <laughs> I'm gonna let my caterpillar dry. Uh, my caterpillar. You want fell help? <laughs> Did you put more glue on it? Yeah, it's falling apart. I don't think I put enough glue on it. Hold it there.
that's why I'm making this today. When a caterpillar turns into a butterfly, it goes into a special home. What is that called? Do you know? A cocoon. A cocoon. So that's what our toilet paper roll is going to be. So I'm gonna use this one. Okay. So this is what you're going to put your butterfly into when he is all dry. And then when they come out of the cocoon, so they go in the cocoon, a caterpillar, and then over time, when they're ready, they start changing, and then they come out as a butterfly. butterfly. So that's kind of what the story is in The Very Hungry Caterpillar that you're going to listen to this week, and that's kind of what this craft is. So hopefully, you just have to be gentle with yours. <laughs> I think it's because they're different sizes. Maybe. <clears throat> yeah, our cotton balls weren't the same, so... They don't want to stay. You might want to let yours dry for a couple minutes. So while hers is drying, I'm going to show you what it's going to look like. So once yours is dry, I don't know if mine's dry either. <clears throat> oh, mine doesn't want to stay. You should be able to put it into your cocoon, your cocoon and then pop it out. You might have to let it dry for a little bit and then come back and do that part. But you should be able to kind of fold it up and stick it in. And then you can kind of make them pop out and then it'll be a butterfly. Oh, except mine is still wet and it didn't stay. But. When it dries. You'll want to let it dry so that way you can stick it in and then it'll pop out and be a butterfly. So there you go. I would probably, if mom has a hot glue gun, that might hold it a little bit better. So send me pictures of what yours looks like and have a good week. Bye. Bye.